Dr. Julia Liu is a faculty gastroenterologist at the University of Alberta with a research interest in endoscopic treatment of gastroesophageal reflux disease. Upon completing her medical degree at the University of Toronto, she continued her training at the Mayo Clinic and Harvard University. Hi, Dr. Liu. How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I have some questions uh, regarding gastrointestinal bleeding. Yes. So, what what should a person do if they see blood in their stool? Um, well, gastrointestinal bleeding is the number one cause of hospital admissions uh, for GI-related emergencies. And obviously, when patients see blood in their stool or if they start vomiting blood, uh, it's very scary for the patients. They are very concerned. Uh, and any amount of blood will usually uh, bring the patient to the emergency room. What we typically uh, would like the patient to do is when they actually do see the blood in the toilet bowl or when they do vomit blood uh, is do not panic. They should uh, contact, if, if there is a large amount of blood, they should contact the uh, emergency hotline 911 and have themselves brought in. If there is a small amount of blood, they should certainly call their family doctor uh, uh, and uh, inquiring about uh, if they are, it's possible for them to see the doctor within the next 24, 48 hours for evaluation. Uh, we typically, as specialists, will be seeing these patients in a, on an urgent basis as well. And uh, the causes uh, for bleeding are, there is a long list of causes. Uh, however, uh, when patients have large amount of bleeding, uh, it could be potentially life-threatening and that's why they need to be brought to the emergency right away. Okay. Um, to the best of my understanding, there's, all, there's two types of, of bloody stool, like there's one that's dark and there's one that's bright red. Would you mind addressing um, the different causes of each? Okay. So the uh, very dark um, blood in the bowel movements are often what we call melina, so that's almost black bowel movement. Uh, that, though, that color of bowel movements usually indicate a higher source of bleeding other than the colon. If the patient is having very bright red blood uh, in the toilet bowl, that actually is an indication that they are bleeding fairly low down, uh, and usually that means it's in the colon, uh, which is the large intestine. Uh, the, for the melina or the black bowel movements, what we like patients to do uh, is to come either to the emergency room if they do not feel very good or certainly uh, seek medical attention by going to their family doctor uh, <clears throat> because melina is usually indication that they are bleeding uh, actively somewhere in their upper uh, gut.